Welcome back to our Russian oligarch seized assets video series, where we continually make videos of luxury that might end out on an action near you in the future. We all know that due to the Russian incursion in Ukraine, the officials of banks, the foreign and defense ministers, and a host of oligarchs have recently been sanctioned in the US, EU, and UK. In most cases, persons who have been totally sanctioned have had their assets frozen, such as bank balances, yachts, villas, and so on. If you haven't watched our seized mansions video, make sure to check it out after this video where we will link to it. Now let's take a look at the yachts of Russian billionaires whose yachts are seized in various parts of the world. Andrei Igelevich Melinchenko Andrei Igelevich Melinchenko is a Russian businessman who has a yacht that is worth 530 million euros which has been sanctioned by the Financial Police Force of Italy. The yacht was seized in the northeastern port of Trieste. The yacht is the world's largest sailing yacht designed by Philip Stark and built by Nobiskruk in Germany. The length of the yacht is 143 meters and the height is 100 meters with the following decks of 8 which are connected by multiple elevators and free floating spiral staircases. The yacht has a radical exterior that resembles a military ship or submarine. In fact, when it first came out, the yacht was compared to a stealth warship. The 468 feet yacht is almost equivalent to a basketball court, assumably. It was first intended to be used for merchandising or cargo ship, which has now become the largest private sail assisted super yacht later on, which even reported weighing over 12,000 tons. Most of the design based mirrors became part of the interior features as the design was obsessed with mathematical elegance and also several crystal glasses can be found as well. Talking about the cabins, there are seven luxurious outcomes for up to 14 to 15 guests and also accommodation for 54 crew members. A digital control system on the bridge will help the crew to raise and lower the sails and with just the touch of a button can be dropped by the anchors. There are in total three indoor pools on board attached to a spa near the stern with the massage tables. Alisher Uzmanov. In addition to that, we should not forget to talk about another billionaire from Russia. Alisher Uzmanov, who suffered the same pain after buying the Dilbar in 2016 for $600 million from the German shipbuilder Lursen over 52 months, and that vessel is now being seized. And he is not alone. There are also many aristocratic figures, such as Rosneft boss Igor Sejin, who has also got their yachts seized in the Mediterranean ports of Le Ciotat by the France's finance minister. The European Union had put Uzmanov on a list of billionaires who might face sanction because Russia invaded Ukraine. Talking about Dilbar, it would be an exaggeration to say it is by far one of the most complex and challenging yachts ever, with some unique source of technology and the dimensions as well. It provides the best security technologies over any super yacht. At 15,917 tons, it is the world's biggest motor yacht and is usually staffed by a crew of 96 people with spacious space for 24 passengers. It has all the amenities, including the biggest pool ever situated on a yacht, two helicopter pads for officials, a sauna, a beauty salon, and a gym. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do so so you get notified when the next video of Seeds Luxury Assets gets posted. Now on with the video. Genady Timchenko One of the billionaire businessmen in Russia is Genady Nikolaevich Timchenko. He runs a private investment company called Volga Group. Timchenko is one of the nation's most powerful men who is close to Vladimir Putin. He has engaged in activities that undermined or threatened Ukraine's territorial integrity, sovereignty and independence. For that reason, Mr. Timchenko has been sanctioned by the US. The yacht he owns, named Lena, is worth $8 million and has just been sanctioned by Italy. The yacht Lena is a 40.8 meter motor yacht built by San Lorenzo and is one of the 10 models in the Alloy 40 series. The interior was designed by Francesco Paschkowski Design. The yacht's top speed is 27 knots, her cruising speed is 24 knots, and her maximum range is 1200 nautical miles at 13 knots. Five staterooms can accommodate up to 10 guests, and six crew members are available to cater to their every need. Her gross tonnage is 338 gross ton, and her beam is 7.9 meters. Lady Lena's exterior is vintage, with clean lines, an abundance of glazing, and glass bulwarks adding to her traditional appearance. Her strong bow makes her a powerful character, and her wide open after decks ensure she provides plenty of space for her guests to enjoy the sun while maintaining her slim shape. Lady Lena has one of the most stunning beach clubs on any private yacht. On its luxury yacht rental, it has plenty of leisure and entertainment options for its visitors. She has spa facilities on board, including a sauna and hammam, and a day head, shower, and exercise equipment, allowing visitors to to maintain their routines while on board. Sergei Chemisov Sergei Chemisov is a former KGB agent and former high-ranking general who once worked as a KGB spy for Putin. A US sanctions list was issued against him in March 2022 in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Recently, the Spanish government seized a $153 million yacht that was ultimately linked to Sergei Chemisov, the CEO of the state-owned Russian defense from Rostec and Putin's close ally. The yacht he owns is named by Valery. Valery is an 85.1 meter 
later long motor yacht. Lursen of Germany, which also built the super yacht Valerie in 2011, is the yacht's builder. The super yacht has a length of 14.28 meters, a beam of 14.28 meters, a draft of 3.8 meters, and a volume of 2,755 gross tonnage. The super yacht Valerie can accommodate up to 17 guests and 27 crew members, including the captain. Valerie is a steel hulled yacht with an aluminium superstructure. She is propelled by two MTU engines that allow her to cruise at 12 and a half knots and reach a top speed of 17 knots. The boat can reach a top speed of 12 and a half knots. The yacht Valerie has many features, including a spa and gym on the bridge deck, a helipad, an elevator, and an impressive reception area with a sea view. This yacht offers plenty of entertainment options, including a piano that is perfect for creating a relaxing atmosphere for you and your guests. And you can enjoy pampering and restoring treatments at the beauty salon and a luxury spa on board a yacht that offers the ultimate in relaxation. If you prefer a pool under the sun, take a plunge in the yacht's pool. Igor Sejin, current CEO of National Oil Company Vosnev, served as Russia's Deputy Prime Minister from 2008 to 2012. He's described as one of Russia's most trusted advisors and a friend. In response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Sejin was named to a list of Russian oligarchs who would be sanctioned by the European Union. According to the French Finance Ministry, France recently seized a yacht owned by Russian businessman Igor Sejin. The yacht called Amor Vero arrived in the French Mediterranean port of La Ciotat. The 280-foot yacht seized in the La Ciotat shipyards on France's south coast is worth $120 million. Amor Vero is a motor yacht that is 85.5 meters in length. The Netherlands-based builder Ocean Co. built the super yacht Amor Vero in 2013. The 2,800 gross tonnage super yacht has a beam of 14.2 meters, a draft of 4 meters, and a capacity of 14.2 meters. It was designed by Igor Lobanov. Her top speed is 18 and a half knots, and she cruises at 15 knots. She is powered by two MTU diesel engines. She has eight staterooms and can accommodate up to 14 guests. The yacht features two decks dedicated to the owner's usage. The owner has exclusive use of the upper deck and the sun deck. In addition to the master bedroom, there are six luxury cabins available. Two VIP suites with private balconies are available and four spacious double rooms. Which billionaire's resources will be targeted next? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Oh yeah, and make sure to see our video on crazy mansions seized so far. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.